Good morning, everyone. How are you today? We are here to do our morning Yashiki and Bonnets report. How's everyone doing today? Thank you for tuning in as always. All right, guys, let's take a look at dashikis and bonnets. What's around dashikis and bonnets? Morning report. I keep changing it. Just say hi to a couple of Instagram people that love me. Hey, everyone. Yes, hi. Morning report. Good morning. What is around dashikis and bonnets? Um... All right. Good morning, everyone. Hey there. Good morning. What is around the shikis and bonnets? What is around the shikis and bonnets? Oh, actually, let's wait on this one. If you would like your own personal reading with me, this is where you could find the information, tracyfoundlife.com. And I do Zoom readings, so Zoom with me. Let's have a personal relationship. What's around the shikis and bonnets? The future. This is nice, the future. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. The future. What's around the shikis and bonnets? The first card is the future, guys. Hmm, this is pretty important. The future. The future card is asking you to change your viewpoint. To influence your future. Remember that like water, the future is fluid and always changing according to your current actions and thoughts. Look into the future. Can you see potential outcomes from this present vantage point? However, this isn't the full future because it's changeable. If you're feeling sad or depressed, times ahead will be colored by this state of mind, making everything seem bleak. The good news is that by adopting, adopting a more positive mindset, the future can appear golden and full of possibilities. It's natural to feel helpless, especially during challenging times. Yet by focusing on the positive, count your blessings. and practice gratitude. We keep talking about gratitude, right? Practice gratitude. You can really change your future for the best. A good support network is helpful for you. If reassuring contrast when you're feeling positive, the future can appear even more golden than you could ever imagine. From this favorable position of feeling positive, you can see clearly how your outlook and your inner dialogue, how you speak to yourself, directly have an influence over your future. Similarly, if you heard of the butterfly effect, which is one of my favorite theories, wings can have far reaching consequences around the world. You'll be aware that changing just one thought or one action can have a direct impact on your future. The future can also ask you to claim your ability to see into situations on a spiritual level. Your gifts or insights are being heightened right now. Use this ability for yourself, use it for others, 
and for the highest good of all. And this brings me to a really good point because you will hear me say at this point, you will hear me say, be like Biden, right? And Biden is a healing president. He wants to heal the country. He has said that over and over. And I think that's what he's going to be known for. And, but in order to heal the world, it's going to be our due diligence to follow through, right? We as Americans put Biden in office, one vote on top of another vote, 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 put Biden into presidency. So imagine if collectively we were all in a positive state of mind, even in the worst circumstances. It can be done even in the worst circumstances. So we're gonna have to, I start my morning, my morning off communicating with God, right? I always say, good morning, God. And then I follow through with, good morning, Jesus. Both my parents had passed over and I know they are constantly around. So I honor their presence by saying good morning to them too. Good morning, mom. Good morning, dad. Even when I was upset with my mom after death for 10 years, I still said, good morning, mom. Because I knew whatever I was upset about wasn't graspable right now. But I knew if I stayed continuously saying to her, good morning, I knew I would change. It took 10 years to change, but I knew I could do it. And I got a mediumship reading from Deborah lately because I've gotten mediumship readings from her in the past. And my mom does not come through. And I usually am happy about that because I was that angry. I had some things occur where I could hear her voice and I was like, what's going on? And I feel like she saved me from something. And I said, man, if you saved me from something to myself, I said, you love me in spite of me being angry with you. You love me in spite of knowing you can't come through my dreams. <clears throat> you can't help make me hear you because spiritually I shut her out. But every morning I said, good morning to her. And when I finally had my personal breakthrough, I released my anger. Once I, something happened and I was like, mom? And so I was telling my book club, I think my mom saved me. And so it was my book club that was like, man, you need to talk to Deborah. And I was like, yeah. I'm always sending others to Deborah, and I'm like, yeah, I guess I need to see her myself too. Sure enough, my mom came through, and I did not ask Deborah what I needed, and there my mom was. And what I liked about what she said when she came through was, although I'm angry with her, she said, I gave you that fighting spirit. It's that fighting spirit in me, my mom that's in you. And I was like, wow, how did I discount all of that? How did I discount the 50% of her? That's the fighter in me, man. She fought so many people. It was comical. <laughs> so comical. <laughs> oh my gosh. She fought people just to fight. <laughs> And my dad, who was an executive union leader, who also fought people, but did not fight in the same way. He was chill. He fought with contracts. He fought with city government. And it was just a different dynamic. And how did I forget that I had all of that of her in me? And I liked it because I was ready to hear it. Changing your future in the midst of COVID, in the midst of financial struggles, find some peace, find a gratitude 
Remember my Dear God journal? Find the gratitude every day. Wake up and say, what are you thankful for? I know you can complain. I got you. I'm not asking you to complain. When I couldn't find what I was grateful for, I've got these Dear God journals, and I'll show you guys a handwritten Dear God journal. When I couldn't find what to complain about, it was hard to find the gratitude. So I started with something simple. I started with, thank you for letting me breathe, God. I didn't start with, you know, thank you for letting me wake up, God. I was trying to find something that mattered inside of me. Somehow or another, I felt like waking up was automatic. But once I woke up, what am I grateful for? And I decided I was grateful for breathing. And this went on for years. Like sometimes it was just, I'm grateful for breathing. And then I would meet a homeless man on the on the so on the subway, and they would purposely sit next to me, and they would smell, and I would say, "Many of the seats. Why are you sitting here?" And they would say, "I'm a ride with you to the end." <laughs> smelling and I got to go to work people and I thought all right God what's going on here there was never a time a smelly homeless man would sit next to me and not give me a message and I would get off the subway and I'd be like wow I was lucky that he sat next to me thank you God gratitude. All right. Let's see if we can get a card to match future. Please, God, let's get something that matches. I see you. All right. Oh, what is this? I knew it was going to be the opposite. <laughs> I knew it. I kept feeling like it would be the opposite of future. Saboteur. Saboteur. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment. I actually saw self-employment at first. And the changes it would bring into your life. Who is sabotaging themselves about their bleak future? Who's sabotaging? Because you need to stop. Do not sabotage yourself. Hi, Popcorn. What a cute name. Do not sabotage yourself. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring into your life. Guys and girls, I am all about self-empowerment. I'm all about I'm all about influencing your self-empowerment. I'm all about allowing yourself to even be a little cocky. Yeah, be a little cocky, people. You're really good at that, I know. Mm -hmm. You're allowed. Even that is self-empowerment because nobody can take whatever you're doing away from you. You got this. No more fears. It's time to self-empower the changes that you should be bringing into your life. And remember, COVID is asking you to make those changes. COVID is. Saboteur. Fears and issues related to low self-esteem that cause you to make choices that block your own empowerment and block your success. When you make it in the alley, you find, you will find that it calls your attention to situations in which you're in danger or being sabotaged or sabotaging yourself. Everyone 
has a saboteur spirit inside of them. Did you know that? Everyone has a saboteur spirit. And the way to handle the saboteur spirit is to feed it positivity. Like we were talking about in the future. Feed it positivity. Nurture it. Say, you can do this, Tracy. You can do this. And if you're not ready to say that, it's okay to sit back for a while. You'll know when the timing is right to feed the saboteur spirit inside of you. And start with baby steps. I want to go back to school. I want to go back to school. And let that be enough. Because then something will show up. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a nurse. And then something will miraculously show up. And what will show up will be, you'll be surprised. I wanted to be a part of my local neighborhood community. And I spoke to God. I was like, how am I supposed to find these people? What, 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 what do I put in Google? Because I didn't understand, like, like I was blocked on finding them. But then I just spoke it up to God. I was like, I want to be a part of my neighborhood council. Or my neighborhood, they used to call them watch groups or something like that. I was like, I want to be a part of that. And on social media, there was an advertisement to apply for a position in my neighborhood council. And I'm on my phone panicking. Because I'm like, and there's nobody around me because it's midnight. No, there's no, it was like 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock midnight was the deadline. And I'm panicking. I'm like, I just said this in my mind, but I didn't. I said it to God, which means I threw it out in the ether. Which meant all my spirit guys had to find a way to get me this information. You got to believe people. These are true stories. You got to believe. And I want to hear your true stories too. And I had two hours to fill out an application. That wasn't even easy. And I looked at the phone. It came across on social media. What are the odds, people? And I looked at the phone. My saboteur was there. My saboteur spirit was there. And I looked at the phone. And I looked at the amount of time I had. And my first question to spirit was, why now? Why are you showing me this? And I've got two hours to, to look. What, why? Saboteur. And so I put the phone down. Walked away, got something to eat, came back. Yeah, total sabotage. Looked at the phone again. And I just started with my first name, Tracy. And then my second name. and then my email address, and then my address, and then yada, yada, yada. And then I got to the point where I didn't even know what district I lived in. That's how much ignorance was out there for me. And I was like, district? So then they showed me a map, and it looked like I was in district you know, four. And I was like, okay, then this is my the name of my um, neighborhood council. And then I went to submit it, and it wouldn't go through. And now I'm mad. That's the one thing about me. Oh, hell no. Hell no. That is not my personal saboteur anymore. That's the devil. No. No. Now we got this far, and I'm getting rejected? Got 20 minutes left, right? So I tried. Nope. They said, oh, this is such a pretty number right here. I tried. No. 
I tried again. I tried a different district. No. I tried another district. No. Finally, I got a district that would let me put it through the computer. And I threw it up to God. I said, God, I filled out the application. I'm done. And I went on to watch Real Housewives or something that I had on tape, right? The very next day, I'm at Planet Fitness. And I get in my car, and an unusual number comes through. And I don't pick up my phone on unusual numbers. I heard Spirit say, pick it up. I picked it up, and it was the city clerk's office. And the city clerk was like, hey, we got your application, but... We're not sure you're in the district you say you're in. And I was like, oh, I know. The computer just messed up, and I'm not sure what happened. And, and you're calling me? And they're like, yeah. And they were so nice. City government was just so nice to me. And I didn't expect that. Anytime I had a problem with city government, they were mean. Yeah, I've had some issues. Mm -hmm. And they were like, well, it's nothing, you, nothing we could do. You waited too long. So I was expecting them to be mean to me. They were like, ah, we got this. And they checked. They made sure. They said, oh, you belong to this city council. And I was like, oh, thank you. And they're like, we're going to put it through. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then I was up for an election. That's how this turned out. I was up for an election. So I forgot what position I applied for. But, uh. Then we went to classes and we went to meetings and, and you get to know people and people begin to like you. They kind of look at you and they're like, we like her. Like you could tell when people like you, right? And they're like, she's quirky. You could tell they were snickering too, right? Because I come a little, like they don't, most people don't know I'm a psychic when I meet them. And so they don't understand the quirkiness that, that shows up. Like you might show up like this. Good morning. I don't show up like that. I'm like, hi. Okay, so um, I'm here. <laughs> and then people go, we like her, but we don't know why. And she's so quirky and different that it's actually making us feel uncomfortable, but we like her. In any case, the election went through and I lost. And I was okay with that, right? I'm not going to sabotage myself. I know I could do this next year. I'm ready to do this next year. I go to visit my son and my daughter-in-law, and I get an email that says, somebody dropped out, and we can appoint you. Would you like the appointment? Uh, okay. Uh, yes. By the time I got back, I had three appointments, three different positions from not being elected. That, that is God. What's your stories? Where's your miracle? Because you believed in an awkward future. Who the hell knew I was going to be elected to any electable what? And then lost the election and got appointed to the same position. What? Amazing. Amazing. God is good. Thank you, sweetie. Only God knew. But I had to not let my saboteur spirit influence me. Not for too long. Saboteur spirit is different than being depressed. It's different. It's not the same thing. It's that little demon inside that says, you're not good enough. Nobody's going to vote for you. You're quirky. You're, you're weird. I took all of those feelings and applied anyway. Uncomfortable, cautious. Knowing damn well people are going to look at me like I got things across my forehead. That's obvious.
I don't think shyness is a saboteur spirit. Shyness, I don't believe is a saboteur spirit. I think shyness is a way to read the room. It's a saboteur spirit if you just want to be somewhere and not participate, right? Sometimes I grew up very shy, but shyness saved me. Shyness allowed me to read people. Shyness allowed me to see how ugly people were. Even though they would put on a face of happy, they would pretend at a party. And at the end of the, let's say it's a party, at the end of the party, I would tell my sister and my mom, I'm like, Monique and Nakisha is having an affair. And they would be like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I saw it. Because my shyness made me sit back and read the room. And it started practicing reading the room. Once I read the room, I was like, oh my God, I see something. Shyness can be used for good. Learn to use it to practice that inner spirituality that lets those antennas come out and understand whether or not something, someone, anything is good for you and safe for you. It allows you to wait and see what's going to happen. Thank you. So shyness can be good. What can be bad is depression that goes on for too long. What can be bad is not dealing with your childhood trauma. If somebody said, you can't do that, you'll never, you'll never graduate college. Not you. And a lot of teachers did that. And you have to have good parents to combat the saboteur spirit. Oh, sarcastic honey. That is one of my difficulties right now. I'm in that space with you. And you know what I decided to say? You're right. <laughs> You're right. I think I'll try it anyway. I think I'll do it anyway. There's a photo shoot I want to do. And my body is completely left. And ah. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to do this photo shoot, sarcastic honey. You know, it's meant for a 20-year-old. <laughs> but I want to do it, and I'm going to do it. So, it's one thing if someone says something to you. It's another thing if your saboteur spirit owns it for you. And what you want to do is feed your saboteur spirit. You have to say, you're right. I'm too old. How about if we try it anyway? Maybe we should look at the future and we should just try to apply for an electable position in my neighborhood. You could just try. See the difference? Sarcastic, honey? <laughs> Maybe you're an introvert, extrovert. I'm identifiably an introvert. But all my life, I wanted to be an extrovert. And so I fed my spirit. And for years, I would... Listen, you know why I'm on um, video? Because of my hands. This is going to sound crazy. I just wanted people to see my hands. I didn't know my hands were going to be a tool for tarot reading. But I used to say, I've got the cutest, fattest hands. And I think people should see that. That led to people seeing my hands on video. One small comment to myself. Crazy, I know. But you got some crazy stories. Let's hear them. 
oh my god season she's like i'm 41 and i just started modeling and i never thought that would happen i agree with you okay so i want to be in commercials yeah that's my next thing i'm not kidding i want to be in commercials and i want to be in commercials as is me looking like this I've been saying it to myself, now I'll say it out loud. Now I say it out loud, you know what happens, right? You speak it and God goes, oh girl, we've been waiting for you to say it out loud. Cause all you did was saboteur and feed that negative, negativeness into your spirit. My son is an actor and I knew exactly what to do with him, right? And I used to go on photo, sh uh, not photo shoots, <laughs> commercial shoots with him or movie sets with him, or <laughs> uh, I can't even think. And the producers would always say, do you want to be his mom? <laughs> and I would always say no. And I was like, I'm honored. I'm grateful that you would consider me, but I'm doing this for him. When secretly, I did want to do it. But there was just something there that I was like, I don't want to outshine my own child in this. I don't want to compete against my baby. I didn't want to be like, got the job. And he's looking for a, a job and then he doesn't get it. it. That didn't feel right to me. And I stuck to that. But now today, today, I think I want to do commercials. I'm going to find a way to do it. Now that I spoke it and I told you, now I got to prove it. I will not feed the saboteur in me anymore. He's exactly like me, Dawn. Your time has come back around. Let's hope so, Season, but good luck to you for being a model. That's fun. And that's, oof. How did you get over your saboteur spirit? Because that's amazing. Dawn's like, oh, you have no idea. Dawn's like, is like, if your son is anything like you, it's no wonder he's in the entertainment industry. Yeah, he has similar qualities, you know? And it's so nice to get with him because <laughs> then the DNA bounces off. <laughs> and then you can, you feel that energetic connection. Yeah. <laughs> This is a good live. I never, um, I never came in because I didn't understand the title. I missed a lot. No, they're all on, on YouTube. Let me tell you something, sweetie. All the dashikis and bonnets are on YouTube. And it's okay. You know what I love about God? When God instructs me, he doesn't care if you don't get it. God only cares that my pod of people get it. That's why I'm never worried about a reading. Don't ever think. I'm waiting for anybody to call me for a reading. My pot of people will call me. They will call me. TracyBrownLive.com. I announce it every day. I never worry about a reading. Because you have to know when you call me, I don't feed the saboteur. I don't feed this spirit. I let you speak this spirit. But by the time you end with me, most people say, Whew, well, I feel much better. My job is done. All right, guys, let me get up out of here. This was actually a very good, supposed to be 15 minutes, very good uh, read. I'm honored with your presence in my life. I'm honored that you give me an opportunity to show up for you, with you. I'm honored that you let me not feed the saboteur, right? Because I'm quirky and I'm a psychic and I come across a little strange, right? And I'm funny as hell and I might yell at you. Get over yourselves. I'm your mama and your auntie. Oh, you know it.
<sighs> but when all is said and done, you all have allowed me to be me. You all have not allowed me to copy anybody else out of fear or out of sabotage to be successful. You all have allowed me to be me. You all did that. You all fed me. And I honor your presence in my life. And I mean that. And y'all need to start saying that to your kids, to your husband. Start telling them, I honor you. My sister. Oh, thank you for the hearts. You guys are amazing. You guys, uh, thank you for feeding me. Feeding my soul and my spirit and my quirkiness and my silliness. Oh. Listen, I was going to do the Obamacare thing with the courts, but it already came through. And the Obamacare stands. So there you go. I love you all. I thank you. And I'll see you in a few because I got to finish up these horoscopes. Bye. Oh, Instagram, if you want to see the horoscopes, go over to YouTube. I don't post them on, on Instagram. All right, guys. Thank you. Don't go, Tracy. I know. But the good part is, I'll be back. Bye. Bye, guys.